Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see one more concept in operating system that is a page table. So in our previous session, uh, we have seen the introduction to the paging and page replacement algorithms. And before going to the page replacement algorithms, first let us concentrate on the page table and how many ways we can structure the page table. So particularly in today's session, we'll see what is a page table and what are the advantage or, or advantages and disadvantages of a page table right so without delay let's start the session page table so we have discussed that there will be two memories the secondary memory which will also be called as a virtual memory and the uh, physical memory which is called as a primary memory so whenever a process wants to be get executed, the process should be loaded from the virtual memory, that means secondary memory to the primary memory. So that means there are different addresses. So in the virtual memory, the address, we call it as a logical address and the memory of a primary memory, I mean the address of primary memory, we call it as a physical address. So there should be a conversion between a logical address to the physical address. And after that, we have seen the concept of paging. So paging means dividing both virtual memory as well as the physical memory into pages and frames. So that we have seen in our uh, previous session, right? So a process which resides in the CPU will be divided into pages and physical memory will be divided into frames. And one important point is the frame size and the page size both should be equal so in between these two things that means a physical memory and the virtual memory there will be a page table where there will be each and every every entry of a page which is reference to the frames that means which where the page has been loaded into the physical memory right so page table gives the frame number the frame number where the page has been loaded in physical memory in physical memory so for every page there will be an entry okay so see this is a page table and see this is the cpu so cpu that means the uh, virtual memory or a secondary memory for example there are a few uh, pages okay so a process a process is divided into four uh, yeah five pages so here p stands for page right p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 page okay now as we said that this paging is a non uh, contiguous memory locations so these pages can be loaded into the primary memory not in a contiguous memory location for example let us take here this is a primary memory this is a primary memory okay So this is a primary memory and the primary as we discussed it here the paging means dividing both process as well as i mean virtual address virtual space as well as a logical uh, physical space will be divided into frames and pages so this is divided into pages this is a process and here it is a frames let it be f0 f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 
f6 and f7 okay so this is a page table this is a page table so whenever the cpu wants to execute a process first it will generate the virtual address and which is where the page or a process resides here okay so th this will be okay loaded into this frames not in a contiguous memory location not in a contiguous memory location so how so based upon the availability of a frame the page will be loaded for example p1 so here this is our pages okay these are pages and these are frames and these are pages now see based upon the availability p1 can be loaded here p2 can be loaded here p3 can be loaded here p4 and p5 so you can observe p1 is loaded in frame 2 so based upon the availability the pages will be loaded into the main memory on this we call it as a physical memory physical memory now in this page table okay so these are the pages p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 four pages now what is the available of p1 so this page table will be having the corresponding frame numbers okay frame numbers so p1 where it has been loaded f2 so the page number the frame number will be loaded here and similarly p2 is loaded in frame 4 so f4 p3 f7 p4 f0 p5 f5 so the corresponding frame number not only the frame number there are some optional bits so which may also have the permissions so uh, apart from this frame number so there will be a lot of uh, options will be available in each and every entry of this page table now coming to this thing how the logical address will be converted into physical address so how the cpu finds the page which is available in the physical memory so first it will take the complete page so which will be having the page number and corresponding displacement so here the displacement means so a program or a page will be having a lot of instructions we are saying a process is a lot of instead of instructions okay a process we call it as a set of instructions for example let us take one program okay let us take one program so one program will be having uh, multiple lines of code right set of instructions each line we can call it as a set of instructions so the page one and corresponding instruction so whatever the instruction that is available that instruction we call it as a displacement okay so the this is a logical address which gives the logical address the page number as well as displacement so it goes here and it will go with the frame number so f2 and finally that is same displacement which gives the physical address so in this way okay in this way the conversion of logical address to physical address will be done okay so first how the cpu know the exact location of the physical memory physical address of that particular page means it will get the page number along with the displacement which gives the logical address and here in the page table entry there will be a frame number in which this page has been loaded so that frame number plus again the same displacement combinedly will be getting the physical address so that is a reference to the physical memory right now the question is where this page table will also be residing so where it will be available 
so this page table it will also be available i'll write here itself available in main memory only main memory only so the page table will also be in main memory okay and the next question if the process each process will be having different page tables or all the pages all the pages of processes will be available in the single page table hope you understood every process will be divided into pages so if uh, we are talking about multi programming so if you talking if you are uh, uh, talking about multi programming we know that multiple processes will be loaded into the main memory for execution so multiple processes means every process will be having different pages so the process is divided into different pages right so the question is whether all the uh, pages of all the processes will be available in the single page table or a multiple page tables obviously the result is every process will be having different page tables every process will be having different page tables so every page table will be having the entries and the main reason or main aim of this page table is to convert the logical address into the physical address to map the logical address to corresponding physical address right so hope you understood and the advantages of this page table what are the advantages so no external fragmentation possible no external fragmentation that is the most important so we have seen uh, this will be the drawback in contiguous memory locations right so here that doesn't happens and the next one so effective memory management effective memory management algorithm to convert the logical address to the physical address okay it's effective and obviously there are some disadvantages so whenever we are saying a page will be loaded into the frame obviously there will there might be a chance of having the internal fragmentation so one possibility is internal fragmentation internal fragmentation so the next disadvantage is it requires some more memory to load different page tables because we are saying every process will be having its own page table so it requires some more memory to store a different page tables right so this is all about the page table the importance of page tables mainly to convert the logical address to the physical address right and there are different structures different ways to structure this page table to design this page table so what are there are first one is a hierarchical 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 and hashed page tables and inverted page tables see there are three different ways to structure this page table to design this page table right so we will stop here and in our next session we will concentrate on these structures one by one so first we'll see hierarchical how the page table will be uh, structured and uh, coming to the hash then finally inverted right so hope you understood this one and uh, if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much